Welcome back. Let's take a look at our soccer team program. But this time it's going to be with Get Adder and Set Adder. I am from SoccerTeam.py importing these specific functions, just the notify functions. I'm real comfortable doing that because they don't call anything else so that I know that they won't get confused. I am making an identifier, this module, and it is the Sys modules dictionary, but the value for my name, my magic name. So now I have this module, it's an object, and I'll be able to use it and set at her and get at her. Now then, process team is almost the same, except down here on line 18, I am calling my set adder. This module, that's the module space. The position is the position string. And I am setting it to be the empty list. And my position strings, I am tacking on that particular position string. If I get this far, then I am going to be doing set adder again. But in our original code, we had a plus equals. So that's what's hard about this. To do a plus equals, you have to get adder so that you know what you have so far. There it is. There's my get adder in this module for that position. Now I am adding in the list, which has one element, which is the list of details for this team member. So position, which is that list of forwards, for example, now has the new guy in it. So that was a hard part. This is another hard part. Okay, I'm going to want to print my encouragement. So yay, the person that looks the same. Now I'm going to say get adder this module. I say notify position, that gives me the function object. That's what gets returned right there. And then I slap on some parens to call it. The parens then belonged outside the get adder call because get adder doesn't do that. So that's how I did that. When we go to print team, we will print the position. They're sorted after they've been retrieved with a get adder of this module of each. And so those are a list that gets sorted up and for each of those players we will just do the same thing we did before. Okay, those are the facilities for dynamic coding and it once you know them, you might find times when they really help you when you have strings and you want instead to have identifiers. I will see you in the next lab.